Yeah, thank you. But feel free to start with questions. Jeff, um, oh. Jeff, you know, Cincinnati comes out to start the second half, uh, three guard lineup. You know, they cut it down to eight points. I know you like to see your team make the adjustments on the court on their own. What did you see from from them? And you know, was that what you wanted to see? You know, in the time that it, in the time that it occurred. Well, I mean, I, I was very impressed with with Cincinnati's guards. I I told Michelle after the game. Uh, they, they have some very talented guards. The Milton kid played fantastic. I, I thought Jackson played well. You know, it, it's a good group. She's going to win some ball games. There, there, there's no question. Uh, you know, our, our problem is, well, it was tonight. I mean, after someone makes two of them or three, you might want to say, hey, we can't give them a fourth or fifth. And then we found a, th a three-point shooter on one. So j j just some small things. Uh, j just some things that that we can learn from it. I wasn't going to call timeouts. Not what I I, I normally do early, early in the year. Uh, and we made some adjustments. And then I put Cost back in the ball game, and she just she's so good at the de the uh, defensive end for us. Uh, you know, she guards her man and, and three others. And and then we finally offensively slowed down. And Haley made some big time shots. You know, she's a she's a great player, and she did exactly what great players do. Uh, but overall, you know, we, we we took the first four possessions of the second half. I don't think we got the one decent shot, and we turned it over. We forced a shot up. It, it was ugly basketball. Ryan and Polly. Uh, Morgan looked like she uh, transitioned into the Louisville style pretty easily. Would you ever? Doubt that that would happen for her. No, I mean I had no no questions. Uh, her or 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 CC will uh, will will do well here and flourish. Uh, it's just a different, you know. It's it's different expectations. Uh, you know the uh, the uh, target on the back is, is is different now, and also playing with the 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 amount of players that we're fortunate to have. Uh, you know, you, you have to value the basketball. You've got to take care of the ball. Uh, we had too many silly turnovers, unforced turnovers that we have to get, we have to eliminate if we want to have a great year. Uh, so, but that, but that's part of it. I thought, you know, Josie, I thought played really well. Went out there, finished her, uh, around the basket. She, she rebounded the ball. Liz played well. It was a, it was a good night. A, a lot of really good things. Coach, Liz just looks like she's played with so much more confidence this year. Just kind of talk about it. Yeah, I mean it's work. I mean it's it's work. There's not there there's nothing more than that. Uh, you know, she puts the time in. She got in the gym, and you know, the more you prepare for something, the more success you're most likely to have. So very very happy for it. Alexis, Jeff, you guys rarely get a lot of those reserves in early there. Um, you know, later in the first half. How important is that to get those reps and kind of find those rotations that work? Well, I I, I think it's going to be really important for us. Uh, just trying to see, you know, a lot of people worked on their games in the off season, and now it's time time to find out can they tra tr translate all the work they've done into games. Uh, and for the most part, I I I, I was pleased. So. You know, we'll go back to work tomorrow, get, get back in the gym, continue to work on some things, uh, and then come back out here on, on Thursday night and see if we can't get a little bit better. Eric and Mac, it's, uh, it, it seemed like you were able to get your hands on more balls defensively and start coming up with that more steal as the game went on. Was that getting more aggressive or them wearing down, or you just kind of figured out what they were doing? Well, it, we had talked about it. We had, we had to get more aggressive at the defensive end. We were allowing, allowing them to cut and pass, and that's just not – it's not good for us. Uh, we've got to try to get people out of their offense, out of their, their rhythm. And I thought in the, set, the, the, the second quarter especially, we did a great job of that. And then we attacked in, in, in transition. I thought we made some really nice passes up the floor and looked to score instead of trying to set up an offense. Uh, Jeff, ha having Olivia and Liz uh, on the court at the same time, how important is it to you know have you know ha have a bigger presence on the floor and have have that size 
you know, not necessarily in this game, but moving forward you know, as the season progresses. Well, I, you know, it, it's, all it's all going to it's all going to depend on matchups. You know, like if you play a team that's got four guards, five guards, then we uh, we might not be able to do that as much. Uh, but of, of course, it's great. It's great to have some depth, and that's one thing I, I think Joe, Josie also brings to this team. You know, her ability to score around the basket was pretty impressive today, which is what she, she's done in practice. She has a great hook shot over the left or right shoulder, great body, great body control. Uh, so, yeah, I, I was really pleased. I thought Liz, O, and Josie all played re really well in the paint. I thought Nyla Harris came in and did, and did some really good things as well. Well, you guys, you mentioned a Thursday game. You'll have three in a matter of, I guess, it's seven-ish days. Lacasta kind of jumped. They're getting older, so it's a little different. But I guess, what is that conditioning and preparation like for that kind of a stretch at the beginning of the year? Well, it's not. It's they'd rather be playing games than practicing. I guarantee you that. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not concerned about that. It, it's coaches. We're you know we'll sit there and we won't go as hard tomorrow, but we will we'll, we'll, we will work on some things that we have to get better at. Uh, to, to make sure that they're fresh for Thursday night. Yeah, and Brian, how does it hit you when you see the banner unveiled? I mean, it's happened a few times, but you know, you, you flash back to, I mean, that's such a significant accomplishment just to do that. No, it, it is. I mean, that's one of the things we talked to the kids about in the in the locker room before we came out was especially the, the, the returning players was to make sure you enjoyed the moment because it was a lot of work. Um, you know, it's not easy to get there. It, it, it is a, it's a big deal. And to have four of them up there right now, you know, I think it speaks volumes for what we've been able to do here in, in 15 full seasons. Uh, so we're, we're, we're going to con con continue to strive to put more up there and hopefully put one up there that says Nash national t champion on it. Uh, that's our ultimate goal. Okay. Uh, one time I turned the fourth quarter, you went pretty small with Nyla's the biggest player on the court. Was that more of a to match up with their smaller lineup or just a let's see if this works? No, it was just to give some players some more playing time. You know, there come, comes a point in time if you want to try try to get a couple players some extra time, but your your lineup won't be it won't be perfect. Uh, but but Nyla, Nyla competes and she, she can play the five if she needs to. Uh, it's not ideal for, her, but I, I was really really impressed with her tonight. Questions, Eric in the back. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, you can schedule games where you win by 50, and we see that a lot. Um, but you, you know, you look at your schedule. You've got teams that are going to test you. Um, what's your value? What's your philosophy of that? Because you know there are games out there you could lose, and that that could just happen. How do you feel about early season going? Yeah, no, we we try to when I schedule our not our non conference, I'm trying to schedule teams that look a little bit similar, play the same style of play uh, that teams in our league will. Uh, you know, and then of course with uh, with M Michelle at Cincinnati, Michelle worked here. She was a huge part of of, of this program being being where it is. Uh, you know, and then you've got I IUPUI coming in here on Thursday, and the problem is. If it was a Power Five name school, somebody would be like, "Oh my God, it's, oh, it's going to be great," but they don't realize I, IUPUI lost by six, I think, or four to Oklahoma at Oklahoma in the first first round of the tournament. You know, and then we're playing at Belmont, who is one possession away from being in the Sweet Sixteen. Us playing them instead of uh, uh, of, of Tennessee. Uh, then we tra we tra 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 traveled down to play at Middle Tennessee State, who was in the fi final four of the WNIT. You know, we 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 put a really good schedule together. It's just a matter of if if you really take the time to study our game. You know, I, I joke about it all the time. Like when we when, when I coached at, at Nebraska years ago, Wisconsin Green Bay would come down and play, and we we get an average turnout, and. Wisconsin Green Bay, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I mean, we're top 10, top 15, but it's the name, you know, and that's the problem. If, if you don't do your homework and really understand, okay, women's basketball, who were the teams? You know, so we try to go out there. And again, I like to play road, road games. You know, I think we're, it's us in South Carolina that in the, ranked in the top 10 are playing five true road games in the non-conference. Uh, 
you know, so we're excited about that, and we're, we're fortunate to play Kentucky each year. Uh, and they're 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 going to be good again this season. Uh, you know, Kyra, Kyra's doing a really nice job there, so it, it's going to be fun, and we we try to do that. Now, you know, every once in a while, you do have a bye game here or there that you're supposed to win by 30 or 40. So you can give some players, some freshmen, possibly some sophomores that might not have had a whole bunch of playing time the year before, more game time experience. So you do have to spray, sprinkle a few of those in. Thanks, I appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. Man, you cutting them off? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, would, Nick would let us go. Times have changed, guys. Times oh. have changed. Oh. Matt, Matt's trying to get to the parlor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that football starts here soon, right? The pizza's oh. on the table. Man, <laughs> it's tough. <laughs>